What's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna basically tell you how to fix every kind of connection or network issue you're currently having with Fortnite. So stick to the end guys, this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial and in the end you will perfectly know what to do in order to fix this kind of issue. Before we start right into the video, I just want to you guys know or let you guys know that I would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like, a comment or a subscription right into my YouTube channel. It would really make my day and help me out as a little YouTuber as I am. Especially subscribing would be such a big support for me guys, you would support my work on YouTube a little bit and I'm gonna really really be thankful for that and I'm gonna thank you for that. So anyways, I would just say, let's get right started. So the first step is gonna be to take your keyboard, you're gonna hit the Windows key and the R key at the same time and once you hit that, I want you to simply type in CMD. Once you did that, hit enter and afterwards this tab should pop up. I want you to type in what I'm gonna type in, so to simply copy it, ipconfig space slash flush DNS and hit enter. Once it is successfully flushed, you should be able to end this task again. Afterwards, go to the bottom left corner of your screen, clicking onto the Windows symbol and opening up your settings, navigating right onto network and internet and going down to network and troubleshooter or network troubleshooter. You're gonna use Windows in order to find any kind of issue you could currently have. If nothing pops up, hit network and sharing center. And navigate to the top left corner of your screen where you're going to click onto the second link where it says change adapter settings. Once you click that, you should be able to see this little tab popping up. What I want you to do here is going to be to click your either internet or ethernet. It just depends on which one you're currently using. You're going to right click and hit disable. Once you hit disabled, this is disabled. Wait a few seconds and enable it again. The enabling process could take quite a few moments so wait patiently until it's connected again. And once it is connected, you should be able to just minimize this tab and return back to your network and sharing center. So let's quickly wait a little bit, return back, hit the blueprint the text word, either it says internet or ethernet, it just depends on what you're currently using, hit properties, double click on internet protocol version 4, and what I want you to do here is going to be to enable use the following DNS server addresses, on the top so on your preferred DNS server, you're going to type in your Google DNS server address by just googling it, or 4 times 8 on the alternate DNS server, the same thing, so just google it, or 2 times 4 and 2 times 8 Afterwards, hit OK and apply. That's it for the video, guys. I hope that I could actually help you out of this one. If it was like that, just leave a like, a comment, or a subscription. I'm gonna really be thankful for that. And yeah, I guess I'm really sorry if I couldn't help you, but I'm just gonna do my best in order to help you out. Either way, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you at the next one, and bye.